Hello everyone, welcome to Exemplar Physics, where we study concepts by solving questions. So I have a good question here. This question is a miscellaneous one. It includes the concept of simple pendulum, work and energy, and also the vertical circular motion. So let's jump onto the question. First, let us read it. The question is, a simple pendulum of length L carries a bob of mass M. If the breaking strength of the string is 2 mg, the maximum angular amplitude from the vertical can be. The options are 0 degree, 30 degree, 60 degree and 90 degree. So in order to solve this question, let's understand the simple pendulum first. Simple pendulum consists of a string attached to a rigid support and to the other end a bob of mass m is tied. We will assume that the bob's mass is concentrated at its center. Then the length of the simple pendulum is from the top until the center of mass and the question says it is equal to L. Now in order to make the simple pendulum oscillate we need to give an initial angular amplitude that is just moving the bob to a height h keeping the string tight. So in such a case an angle is made by the string with the vertical. Let that angle be theta. In this situation, the bob has been the center of mass of the bob has been raised by a height. Let's say the height raised by it is h. So this distance is h. Now, if we clearly see the diagram, the length of the string that is l and its projection vertically so its projection vertically is going to be l cos theta then the height to which the body has been raised is going to be equal to h that is l minus l cos theta l is the total length and l cos theta is the projection vertically when the pendulum is making an angle theta with the vertical so the height raised by the bob is h which is equal to l minus l cos theta here i can take l as common so 1 minus cos theta is the height because the bob is raised by a height h it gains potential energy and what is formula for potential energy mg into h here h is equal to l into 1 minus cos theta. When the bob is initially at a height h and released, the potential energy gets converted into kinetic energy and when it reaches to the bottom most point, that kinetic energy is going to be the maximum. So let us find out what is the velocity at the bottom most point. So at when the pendulum reaches the bottom most point, so at bottom most point, the energy is only kinetic, kinetic energy and that is equal to half mv square. And how did we get this kinetic energy? The potential energy which is equal to mgl 1 minus cos theta got converted into it. So looking at the expression, we can cancel m. Hence we got v square is equal to 2 gl 1 minus cos theta. So I am going to keep it in a box so that this result can be used later. Now let us go to the next important terms. Now the question says the breaking strength of the string is 2 mg. That means the maximum force that can be given to the string is 2 mg. So where is this string going to experience maximum tension? The string is going to experience maximum tension at the bottom most position. And why it is experiencing maximum tension there? As answer to this, I have made a video exclusively to make you understand that the bottommost point is where the tension is maximum. 
I am keeping the link in the description section as well as in the i button. Please watch that video also. So the tension experienced by the string is maximum where and when the bob is at the bottommost point. What are the forces experienced by the bob at the bottommost position? Number one is its weight which is due to the earth's gravitational force and one more and since it is partially moving in a vertical circular motion so it will experience a centrifugal force which is equal to mv square by r and here r is the length of the pendulum so the tension at the bottommost point i'll write it as t is equal to mg plus mv square by l now what happens if I increase the initial angular displacement, if I increase it initial angular displacement, the potential energy increases. As the potential energy increases, the velocity at the bottom also increases. As the velocity at the bottom increases, tension increases. If this tension exceeds 2 mg, then the string breaks. So the maximum breaking string the maximum tension which the string can withstand is 2 mg and in order to find maximum angular amplitude what i am doing going to do is i am going to take tension as 2 mg if the tension is 2 mg then this 2 mg is equal to mg plus m v square by l here we can clearly write 2 mg minus mg is mg is equal to m by l v square from the expression in the box we can write 2 g l into 1 minus cos theta here m g and m g can be cancelled then we are left with also l and l is cancelled so we are left with 1 is equal to 2 into 1 minus cos theta we can also write it as 1 is equal to 2 minus 2 cos theta so in order to solve it i'll make little bit space so i'm going to rub on the top so you can pause the video anytime if you are noting it and can continue later So let's continue. So what do if I bring 2 to the other side, what I'm going to get? 1 minus 2 is equal to I'm continuing this here. 1 minus 2 is equal to minus 2 cos theta. So minus 1 is equal to minus 2 cos theta. So cos theta is equal to minus 1 by minus 2 or just 1 by 2 and cos theta when is cos theta 1 by 2 when theta is equal to 60 degrees and this is our answer so when theta is equal to 60 degrees the tension in the string is going to be 2 mg and if i increase the angle more than 60 degree this the tension is going to exceed 2 mg and the pendulum is going to break I hope you have understood this concept and if you have then like this video share it with your friends and family members and don't forget to subscribe the channel so we'll meet again with some other question with some other concepts and if you have any doubt please write it in the comment section or and go to our telegram channel you can post your doubts over there i will surely help Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.